What is up everybody and welcome into today's video. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Harry. I am a drummer and for those of you that have seen my videos before, welcome back. I appreciate you guys watching. Today we are in Lake Worth. We moved from our lovely hotel in Miami to Lake Worth. So we've just arrived here in the hotel. Justin and I are about to go out to get some pizza. We've found a New York style joint just around the corner from our hotel. So we're gonna go check out Mamma Mia's Pizzeria. Then we're gonna go get some ice cream because there's an ice cream place right next to the pizzeria. So yeah, we're gonna go indulge. Tonight we're playing our next show at a place that we played the other night uh, called Salute Market. We got a repeat booking, so we're very pumped to be playing there again because it was a great show and a great vibe, great crowd, and they treated us very well. It's been a great tour so far. I think we've played three or four shows. Uh, they've all been awesome. It's been a great time being back with the Elton Tribute and playing with the guys again. I absolutely love touring the US. It's been a dream of mine since I was a kid, so the fact that I'm actually doing it now is amazing and feels so fulfilling. Now at this point, I wanna give a shout out to my dear friend, Justin. Justin Fresh Pot! Now Justin was kind enough to make me a vlog intro, which you just saw. I'm a big fan of bands like Meshuga, Periphery, Animals as Leaders, so like the prog metal stuff, like the, the big chunky riffs. Love that stuff, so big shout out to Justin. Thank you so much, dude, for doing that. I am gonna link Justin's Instagram down below. Justin is an amazing mixing engineer. Uh, honestly, like, probably one of the best, or maybe the best that I've heard uh, so far. Legend, man. So for anybody that needs any mixing work done or anybody who needs help with production and wants to get some big tones, do go follow Justin on Instagram and hit him up because you will not be disappointed. He is the bee's knees and he's amazing to work with, uh, so I can't praise him enough. And so thank you, Justin, for the amazing intro track. Now, as I say, we are heading out to get some food and then I think we're gonna get some work done We've got to leave at 4.30 to drive to the gig. I'm probably going to break out the practice pad as per usual. Now, speaking of practice pads, I actually just ordered myself the Dave Weckl Travelite Pro Logics pad, the new signature pad from Dave Weckl. I recently went to see Dave Weckl in a clinic on his 50 year Yamaha anniversary tour. And I have to say it was one of the most inspirational clinics that I've ever been to. That and Horacio Hernandez were probably the two that come to mind for like the best clinics that I've been to and the most, from an educational point of view, the most valuable. And uh, so I've been mulling over getting that pad ever since and I finally ordered it. And so I'm very much looking forward to receiving it and trying it out. I've been spending a lot of time on the pad over the past month, month and a half. And I recently bought myself the Steve Gadd Gadamance book, which I can highly recommend to anybody looking to improve their hands. What I love about this book is that it focuses a lot on the symmetry of the hands. So you start out a rudimental exercise leading with the right and it's designed to then shift to to leading with the left. So you, you get a lot of symmetry going and learn different patterns leading with both hands. So that's awesome. There's a lot of flam stuff and rolls and all sorts of cool stuff in here. So if you're a drummer who loves to hit the practice pad like I do, then definitely go check out Steve Gadd's book. It's, this is awesome. A lot of fun, but be warned, you may get addicted. 
Justin, what's your opinion on practicing rudiments on a practice pad? Uh, don't bother. Um, if you have, if you own any instructional books, rudiment books, chops books, anything like that, uh, before the end of this video, pick them up, throw them in the nearest available trash can and or fire pit, and just sit down at your drums and play and make sure that you're hitting consistently and hard and don't go crying to your mom about how much you want to do chops because no one cares. Just play drums. So with that, I think it's time to crack on and go get some food. So it was beautiful. Got back, did some work, took a shower. We're gonna go and load in, sound check, and play to all three people that are there. Just casually tuning drums out the uh, trunk of the car in Palm Beach. This is the life. Once again, two for two at Salute Market, a killer gig. Oh, that was a lot of fun. You think that, I think that one was better actually, wasn't it? 
I think that was better. I mean, I don't know how I sang more on pitch like, with feeling ill, but it's happened. Probably gonna go somewhere to have some food and then back to the hotel to get a good night's sleep. Funny, I'm not even that hungry, and yet I've just ordered French toast. French toast. Uh, oh, it is nice. Mm. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Ding. Please subscribe and hit the notification oh. bell. Literally finished the night on French toast and root beer. Ooh. Also finished the night on French toast. Best one we've had so far, I think, on this run. Absolutely. Um, Howl is, shout out Howl is absolutely awesome. Go check it out. Also, subscribe to anyone else's channel but this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you did. Please like, subscribe. It's time to go to bed and I will see y'all in the next video.